At the front, you'll see four seven millimeter bolts. Let's remove all four. On each side of the bumper, you'll see another seven millimeter bolt. Remove that. And then if you go down, you'll see some push clips that secure this fender liner onto the bumper. So let's remove those. Okay, let's do the same to the other side. At this point on each corner, you should have at least two push clips. Uh, it looks like someone has eliminated those and just put a screw in for me. So take this off, but whatever you have, take it out so that this separates from this. Okay, and at this point, if your vehicle has fog lights, you can reach up in here and disconnect the bulb. Mine doesn't. Now on each corner, you can pull the bumper cover out just like that. Let's do the same to the other side. Remove it from here as well. Now you can take your bumper cover, slide it off. Be careful, you have um, your side marker bulbs here. Disconnect the connector on both sides. There we go. And there's a, an air temperature sensor here. Disconnect that. And here is your bumper cover. Two 10 millimeter bolts underneath here. Remove both. There we go, pull down on that. On the back side, they don't give you a lot of slack at all, so unplug your bulbs as soon as it comes down. Kind of barely reach them. There we go. Here is your old headlamp assembly. At this point, you can either take your old bulb and put it in the new assembly, or you can replace it with a, uh, a new bulb. Before you throw this old headlight out, remove the bracket that sits right on the bottom of it. Now you can throw this out. Take your new headlight, line it up. By the way, this right here is where you're gonna adjust your beam. There's a hole in the uh, fender slash frame rail here. So uh, that's where you're gonna adjust it once you're done installing. Reconnect both of your bulbs, the, uh, the main bulb here, as well as the turn signal. Make sure they click and they're secured in. Now take this bracket that you removed off of the old assembly and line it up with the new one. Press it on, line up the new assembly, put it up into place. Let's start in the two bolts. Now do the same thing to the other side. Now grab your bumper cover, bring it onto where it's supposed to be. And as you bring it close, don't forget to reconnect both of your marker lights on each side, as well as the ambient air temp sensor on the front. Press it on, there we go, it should lock in. At the front here, put back whatever mounting screws you had, um, or push clips. I had just this one screw here, so I'm gonna reinstall it, that way it's as secure as it's gonna get, just like that. Let's put in the two push clips that went in here on the side. And the uh, screw that went on the top here, seven millimeter. Let's do the same thing to the other side. And don't forget about these uh, screws up top here, two on each side. Now go ahead and line up your brand new headlights. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're gonna see where your low beam is, and you'll see a little dot right in the center. And that is the access point. 
Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to mark that with an erasable marker just so it's easier to see. Next what we need to do is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just going to pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different but that's where I'm going to put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back, 25 feet from the wall. And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're gonna start with our measurement here. That's where the headlamp center is. We're gonna go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're gonna cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're gonna see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're going to adjust the headlight beam. Now we're going to lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up, and if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is going to be the same. You're going to find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely.